Hi guys, Mason Day here. Today I'm back with another video, and yeah, today we are going to have a very important game versus Man City. Then you have Newcastle, Brighton, United, maybe, and we might sim a decent amount of games till uh, the transfer window, which I will do the job the next episode so last episode you beat spurs we lost against arsenal we lost against villa and we also sold chilwell which i want cucurella to take that spot so i'm just gonna play cucurella since i know chilwell is leaving now as you know i said that there have to be three englishmen in this team minimum and yeah um, i have to trust someone or buy someone with the money we get but for now that rule isn't really gonna count because i have obviously chilwell who's gonna be sold so for now I'm gonna play like this, don't say that I'm a cheater, cause I'm not, and yeah, it's probably either gonna be me signing a defender or midfielder, cause I'm not happy with them, but more, it's more going to be a center back than a midfielder, but there has to be three Englishmen, so this is how we're gonna go versus Manchester City. Our first game of the episode. Let's go to beat this team. This is now a chance for Neymar to drive the ball forward. He's gonna find Bukayo Saka. Is he offside? I don't think so. Saka saved, but Martinelli has kept it. Caicedo, Rhys James, Neymar. Great skills. Still Neymar going on the far right. Ah, oh, no chance for City to equalize. Oh no, what a ball. But that's great. Man City gets it again. Great by Gabriel. This is now Jeremy Doku. No, no, Doku. For City. And that's 1 1 versus City. Ah, oh, that wasn't the best for us. I think we could have won it. But good game versus City. I mean, I'm kind of happy. Because City are City. No chance for City to equalize. Oh no, what a ball. What? So right now we're in fifth. And we're only one point away from Champions League. Obviously it's only 12 games in. Villa and City are tied in first. I want a challenge for Champions League. I don't think we will win the league in this first season. But I still want to try and maybe do something. So let's play against Newcastle. So, Caicedo. Our first chance. Neymar. Openda. Osaran. Openda. One nil. Oh no, Newcastle, they've caught me. Finally, another chance for us to counter attack. Neymar. Oh my. Gabriel with a great tackle. Enzo. Openda. Falls for Neymar. What a release by Openda. Neymar Jr has scored 
and he's the star of this team. I'm happy that I put in Kunku away. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm doing team highlights. This is another chance for us. Lucy Fender to score a second. Matueke. Openda for Madueke Openda and that's the end another win that I'm very happy about um next game is Brighton where I think we can get another three points. Now I'm tied with Arsenal and I'm only one point behind Spurs and Aston Villa and I'm only one point ahead of United. And I'm five point four points behind Man City. And right now, I'm aiming for fourth or third, which should be great for the first season of Chelsea's rebuild. I'm, I'm very happy with the team. And yeah, come on, let's beat Brighton. So, for a game like this, I was thinking, why not try Chaloba, he's 24, he can go, and actually, no, let's play Badi Shile, we'll try Badi Shile, actually, I'm gonna give him his chance. Palmer, I will be getting on, getting him on if we're playing decent. I was gonna try Lavia. I don't think we should do any changes. Obviously, we need to win a game like this. Now Martinelli, Openda, can he score? Yes, he can. This is chance for Brighton. Oh, Neymar is there. James is gonna take this into maybe a header. Martinelli taking it short for Neymar. Badia Shile. Neymar back to Badia Shile. Oh. Luis Openda making a run. Luis Openda. Can he score his second? Oh. This is a chance. Maybe for Saka. That didn't work. And that's it. A win against Brighton. That. We are one point behind City. One point behind Villa. One point behind Spurs. And one point ahead of United. So... If so, this is a very tight race right now. Till sixth, from first to sixth, there's only a four point gap. And where is Burn? Oh, there. Bournemouth are getting destroyed. They've only got four draws and ten losses. We have nine wins, two draws, and three losses, which is pretty good. For a club like Chelsea. By the way, as I'm filming this, I have reached um 50 subscribers. So yeah, please keep subscribing. It's a pretty decent achievement, obviously. So yeah, keep subscribing and maybe we can reach 100 now 
We've got Reese James as captain, which I want. Because they told me about something captaincy. So, what I'm going to do is play this very important game versus Manchester United. So, let's go. So, here we go. Man United. This is extremely important. If we want to keep our place in the top four. We need to beat United. We can drop points. So, we can maybe stay in the fight. Four, top four. Saka. Great dribbling by Saka. He's still going. Can he find Luis Openda? Can he score? Yes, he can. That's already a goal for us. This is a huge chance for Man United. Oh, that's a big, big chance that we have defended. Great save. As you can see, Spurs have dropped points and City have won. But Spurs dropping points is massive. I don't know if that's a loss for Aston Villa. That would be great because if we win here, we would be second in the league. And that's a chance saved by, name, by the goalkeeper. What a shot by Neymar. Now, Lissandro Martinez. I'm gonna try to maybe win the ball. By in there. Ah. Uh, they got out of this hard situation. So, yeah, United, it's gonna be a hard team to defend. And also to score against. Even though we've already scored. This is a big chance. If they keep playing like this, they're gonna destroy our back line and our midfield. In midfield, for these few minutes, they have been better. Oh, but they're not good enough to score. But in midfield, they're great in holding possession right now. What a ball by Enzo Fernandez. Great chance here. Martinelli. Saka. For James. Ashford. That's great. Defending, but they've got another chance. Rashford saved by Kepa. Neymar. Saka. What a run. By Saka. Can he find Openda? He's going to try to get past Varane. Enzo. Saka. Is still going in. And Saka. With a beautiful goal. Great dribbling. That's our second versus Manchester United. Look at this dribbling from the side. And I think he thought he was going for a cutback, the goalkeeper, but no. Rashford. And United have scored. Alvaro Morata has got a goal back. This is now Martinelli. Enzo Cucurea. Caicedo. Enzo Martinelli. Oh, that was a chance. I want to score to stay two goals up. And I also want to defend. A few minutes left for half time. Casemiro. Varane. Man, I cannot get the ball off them in midfield. Great defending. Now, Openda. No, man. I cannot get anything in midfield. They're dominating. But in attack, we're just the better team. In my opinion. 
Enzo loses the ball in Amrabat finding Ziyech Wan Bissaka half time Saka Saka is still going he's been dribbling from literally the halfway line I didn't record that but Saka going on the wing Varan Amrabat Kukurea defending now Martinelli getting in the middle finding Neymar saved by Bayender No. Yes, Gabriel finding Openda. Oh, I couldn't get the ball to Enzo. But Caicedo. What was that Caicedo? I'm definitely replacing um Lizasi, as I said in the beginning of the episode. But man, Caicedo needs to improve if he wants to keep his place. But now Penda to get his third. What a chance. Since they're dominating in the field, I don't think it's the best thing to bring Lavia on. But I want Mudrik. I haven't seen much from Martinelli, but I want to try Mudrik. Maybe he can grow. And maybe he can show what he can do in this game. And yeah, I hope this Mundrik can do something. Chelsea bought him for 115 million. And he has been kind of, not kind of a flop. That was a chance. He has been a big flop. He could have went to Arsenal. But he went to Chelsea. The blue billion pound bottle jobs. And yeah, I'm going to use him a bit in this game. As now Saka finding James. This is Openda. James doing on the wing. Instead of Saka, he's still going. Neymar. Neymar. Where was Mudrik there? Like, come on. Come on, man. Win the ball. Win the ball, Neymar. Win the ball. No. No. No, this is scary. No, 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 no. Win it, James. Win it. No. This is so scary, man. They're attacking us. So much. No. Yes. Why didn't Mount bottle it? I don't know. But that's good for me. As now Modric. Going crazy on the wind. Wow, his pace is good. What a run by Modric. Can he score? Yes, he can. The Ukrainian star, we can say now. And it's the first time I've tried him against United, which are competing against us. He has scored fantastic goal. And this, if we win this, we're going to be in second. If Aston Villa actually dropped points. If not, we're going to be in third, which is also very good for the first season from 12th or 11th right now to third that shows that Chelsea have got talent and yeah they should make good signings not signing Caicedo for 115 million and same for Mudrik like you have to sign quality players not youngsters that You've barely seen doing a lot. Even though Modric was balling out in the Ukrainian Super League or what that is. Neymar has got a chance. Misasi. Modric. Oh. Gabriel, please make a tackle. No. 
And this is Transport United to give his chance of equalizing. I'm just passing the ball. And yeah, I just want this game to end. And I want to see the, the table. That's a foul on Enzo. Gabriel. Enzo. Couldn't find the Sassi. Casemiro. Casemiro making a run. Finding Morata. I don't really want to concede. And we don't. Great there. And Kepa clears. Great win. Now I've seen that. Mudrik is decent. Now. Yes, Aston Villa floss. I don't know oh, because they played City. Let's go, man. We're in second in the league, just one point behind the first. So, yeah, this is great. So, we're almost in the January. Um window and yeah i'm gonna just simulate all of these games we should win Ch okay chelsea beat everton fine we should beat sheffield yes wolves 3-0 how did we lose against palace no we didn't just lose against palace no no how did we lose against palace i mean we're still second in the league just two points behind city i'm not sad about this we're going we're right now we're good I think we have a chance of winning the league. Like, I'm not capping. I think we've got a big chance, a big, big chance of winning the league. But, yeah, that's great. We should have the FA Cup against Hampton. North, I don't know what their name is. But okay, so we've got a great team with a decent bench. The only thing I want to do now is get, um, maybe make Palmer a striker if I can, or Madueke, and so I can have like a backup striker and a midfielder. So look at this, I could have just bought or did something else but wouldn't recall broha from his loan spell and put him on the bench because i think he would, he would be a great striker so obviously i want to get someone instead of uh kaisedo sorry the sassy um Levi Coleman is going to be the man for like a backup left back. I like that. I want an English centre back because of the challenge. And by the way, this season we have to win a trophy because or else I have to release a random player from my starting 11. I don't know if you remember that rule, but I have to. So I'm aiming for that FA Cup. Because the Premier League is going to be hard. Very hard to win. So. I'm going to try to find a centre back. I was thinking about three players. Mark Wehi. Max Kilman. Or. Um, Konza. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scout them. I'm going to hope for something good. Okay, so we beat Northampton in the FA Cup. 
and they read Fulham, which is nice. So we've got loads of offers for James. We've got loads of offers. I'm just gonna see what I can do. So we've got an offer for James, which I'm gonna negotiate. This I'm gonna reject. Caldwell, no. This guy, I don't really want him, so you can take him. James? I am going to negotiate. Maybe we can get a crazy amount of money. Like, I'm going to go for 75. No, I was going to say maybe a swap deal. I'm going to go for 75 million. And no, I don't want to sell James. No. I'll give it a week. We don't need. So let's see. We've got Konza who's 81 rated. And I like. Kilman? No. It's between Aguehi. Who I think can grow. And Konza. Um, this is a hard question, but I don't know, man. For some reason, I think Wehi is not good enough, but I think he can grow. But still, I'm gonna. I want Konza. I want Konza. He's the better signing, in my opinion. I'm gonna give 35 million. They want Badia Shile. And 9 million? I'll take that. That's a deal. So we just need Konza just to sign important i'm gonna start him because of the challenge i'll give him four years no release clause and his wages he was earning fifty four thousand, so i'll give him seventy thousand seventy five and lots of bonuses uh i'll sign him still consa is a chelsea player so after that, I've just bought Bubakar Kamara with the money I have left, but his agent wanted a 107.6 million release clause, and he didn't want it to be removed, so I had to let it. But to be fair, if they just buy him for 107 million when he's only worth 45 million, that would be a bargain for me. Like, with 100 million, I would sign a crazy midfielder. But now we've got the game against Liverpool. This is now our team. I've got good squad depth. Um, a great bench. And I think we've built a fantastic team for Chelsea. This is brilliant. In my opinion. Um. Yeah. I think if there would be a player that I would remove. And sign a, a better player. It would be Kepa. But for the first season. I think it's decent. That we have Kepa. I was looking to sell Sanchez. But could we sell Kepa. By a quality goalkeeper. Because. We could sell both, actually. We could sell both goalkeepers. And, yeah, I'm gonna put Kepa on the transfer list. I already have Sanchez on the transfer list. If we can get about 50 million for both, like 50 million combined, I'd have Petrovic as my um backup keeper. 
and then I'd have money to sign an excellent keeper. So this is good for us if it can happen. But you will see what will happen in the next episode. So if you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and thank you for 50 subscribers. Goodbye.